What's up everyone, Ben here with some piping hot royal tea to spill. As we all know, there's been some serious bad blood brewing in the House of Windsor ever since Harry married a social climber over wife Meghan and their drama filled visit back to the UK last week to see Harry's dad, the new King Charles, only stirred the pot more. So now I know you guys are excited to hear more about this. But before we move on to any of the juicy details, I'd like to thank you guys for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to press the all-important bell icon. So, I don't know about you guys, but 15 minutes, that's how long Harry spends with his dear old cancer-stricken dad after making a long flight from London. So, talk about an ice-cold family reunion. But hey, I can't say I'm surprised. It's clear Harry wanted to go in to the palace and get out quicker than you could say God save the king. And why? Well, sources say it's because Harry point-blank refused to be in the same room as his stepmom, Queen Camilla. Yep, Harry made sure to avoid Camilla like the plague during his whirlwind visit. Can't say I blame the guy, though. It's no secret those two have beef the size of Big Ben. Ever since Harry spilled the royal tea in that tell-all memoir of his dragging Camilla through the mud, she's been the public enemy number one. He slammed her as a stone-cold villain who threw his tragic mother princess die under the bus just to rehab her own image. Not exactly the words of endearment. So now, no wonder Harry only agreed to the quick visit on the condition he could steer clear of Camilla. Clearly, the bad blood is still there and it hasn't thawed out, even with Harry's dad Charles on the throne. And let's be real, 15 minutes is barely enough time for Harry to say hi, let alone have a real heart-to-heart -heart with the king. Uh, who also happens to be his flesh and blood. You'd think Harry could have time for more than a quick convo about the weather with his dear dad who's battling the big sea. But nope, Harry was in and out faster than a drive through at McDonald's priorities, am I right? Not like Daddy Charles is potentially on his deathbed or anything. Harry's got better things to do than waste his precious time. He's got Hollywood parties to hit up, Netflix deals to cash in on, speeches about compassion to give while collecting fat speaker fees. Priorities, people. Sure, the palace says it was a quick visit due to Charles's health. They can't risk getting the king all riled up emotionally since it could spike his blood pressure. But let's be real and read between the lines here, folks. It clearly was Harry sending a message. I don't have time for a dysfunctional family. He's got his 15 minutes of performative family duty over with as fast as humanly possible, then peaced out back to La La Land. Wouldn't want to spend a second longer than necessary with the relatives he loves trashing publicly. Now, would we, Harry? It's not like Charles is getting any younger. But hey, Harry's clearly got an escape plan. Whether it was beef with Camilla or just no desire to play happy families, Harry's actions speak volumes. This guy is done with the roles and all their drama, even if it means icing out his cancer-battling dad. Cold-blooded, if you ask me. But Harry's going to be Harry. He's made his priorities clear here. The black sheep of the House of Windsor has spoken. He already got his royal exit, so he has no need for any warmly family reunions. 15 minutes is more than enough time spent with his two former relatives, who clearly has no love for. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. So there you have it, folks. All the piping hot tea on today's holiday reunion with the royals. And I do mean hot, because that visit was icy cold. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Harry's shockingly brief return to see the king. Until next time, stay tuned for more royal dishes from your favourite commentator. Bye for now.